sections from two different types of core. Um, this is a sediment ooze taken from the deep Pacific Ocean. Uh, this is mostly composed of microfossils. Uh, so these are pelagic plankton that live in the ocean. When they die, their shells fall down and, and slowly accumulate on the seafloor. With a great historical record of conditions, either at the, sea, at the, uh, on the shallow ocean or at the seafloor, that get recorded in the sediment. This is the great, this is what tells us about what's going on uh, and ask the historical record. And uh, if you're looking at if you're interested in climate change, like uh, both Craig and Carlotta were talking about. This is the one from a recent cruise we did in the Pacific. That is, this is a hard rock. So these are igneous rocks from a plateau, a volcanic plateau that erupted in um, um, 200 to 150 million years ago, if I remember right. And here's some sediments that were baked as these volcanic edifices came out. This was trying to understand the origin of these edifices. Uh, technician, please note the elevator is out of service. For the moment, for inspection, without a survey. These, uh, this, this one was taken with that piston core. That's the one for soft sediments. And this, this one was taken with the rotary core, the one that, the really aggressive one I talked about, that where the, drill, the pouring barrel does not stick out in front of the drill bit. How long would it take to drill something that hard? What's that? How long would it take to drill something that hard? Something this hard? Um, typically, it varies somewhat, but typically this is something on the order of one to four meters per hour. Where this this is seconds. Where is the sediment from? This one. Uh, this is from the Pacific, uh, the Central Pacific Ocean, near Hawaii.